Marco for uh, TechWeb TV, and I'm here at Interop 2012 in Las Vegas. And I'm here talking with uh, Fred Homewood of Nodal. It's a rather new, new uh, networking company, but they made some big news this year by uh, winning our Best of Interop networking category for their GS0072 uh, 40 gigabit switch. So, Fred, what uh, I know you've made your uh, debut last year. Yes. With uh, the old the, the, uh, 10 gig switch, so maybe go through the uh, evolution of what, uh, how you came from that switch to this. Yes. What, what changed in the year? So the, the big change uh, from from the, these the products we announced last year, intro to the new boxes. This is this is an integration of, of 12 of these boxes. So effectively, these boxes operate standalone. But, but could be connected together. This box effectively integrates uh, 12 of this one new box into a single unit uh, and provides, really starts to show our integrated fabric uh, within, a single, within a single box. Right, so this is uh, 72 ports, 40, 40 gig, gig. Yeah. very low latency, very high yes. throughput. Yes. So, what, you know, there's a lot of 40 gig switches here. Kind of what sets this apart from some of the big fast boxes we see on the floor. So first of all, it's a much higher port count, so 72 ports. So that, that, that's a very high port count, higher than anyone else has. The key thing we've done in, in our own ASIC, which, which, which we've used to implement these boxes, is we have low balancing uh, and very low latency in the, in the box. So uh, you know, to get from, the, from a port to, to another port in a box, there's actually uh, many paths uh, through, that, through that switch. So there's actually, uh, um, it makes full use of up to 18 paths uh, through that through that box. So if one's loaded or congested, it can automatically take those other right. paths. So you kind of you built a fabric right inside yes. the switch. That's correct. So maybe uh, and that fabric has some interesting features. Maybe you could kind of yes. describe yes. What, what you can do with that. So uh, to do this, one of the things, the key things we've done in our, our ASIC, as well as implementing the obvious 10 gig e Mac and a 40 gig e Mac. Uh, we also implement a 40 gig nodal Mac, um, and obviously when we're connected to normal normal client devices at 10 gig E or 40 gig E, uh, they auto select the the, 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 the the relevant Ethernet Mac. Right. But when we connect between our two AS between our two of our ASICs, they auto sense this this 40 gig nodal Mac, and that 40 gig nodal Mac uses what we call the nodal fabric, um, and that fabric is, is is pretty different in that in addition to having uh, the normal forward data flow path. It also has a reverse control path. Um, so what that allows us to do, as, as frames enter ingress at an ASIC, uh, we encapsulate that frame uh, completely within a nodal, nodal frame. It's then allowed to transit this, the, this, this fabric using this encapsulated format. Um, that encapsulated format has got a much smaller header on the front, uh, much smaller than the, the, the dual MAC address header on the, on the front of a normal Ethernet frame. That allows us to A, transit the network much quickly, so we're able to do those additional hops in just 66 nanoseconds, as opposed to 150, which we get with the first hop uh, doing the translation from Ethernet to nodal. But in addition, we grow this control fabric in the reverse direction. And that control fabric um, allows us to send control frames as, as that frame makes its path from ingress to egress. Um, and I go back to your question, so what we do differently is we're able to detect load with it on those uh, intermediate paths in the network and get that information coming back to upstream ASICs in the switch and load balance, do true live load balancing of frames based upon current flow rates in the network. So, and, and that works because you're using this nodal fabric, that works when I'm building these out into like a leaf yes. spine network. Yes. So if I have multiple of these boxes or this box with your yes. one U box, that fabric works across multiple switches. Indeed, yes. In, in fact, it works across any 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 topology of fabric and any number of nodal ASICs. Uh, so it doesn't have to be leaf spline, though obviously internally this is a, a full, fully connected fat tree. Uh, we have been talking to customers who are interested in grids. So for example, in a data center where they want to roll out a grid across that, it, it, the, 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 the load balancing works across a grid as well. Interesting. And so, um, how, uh, how wide can you scale something like that? I mean, how many ports? Are... We can scale up to 64,000 40 gig Ethernet ports in wow. that network, yes. That's right. uh, and, and the current ASIC will do, uh, we can do up to 16 hops. Uh, so 16 ASIC hops with that. Uh, but we're just about to change that limit to unlimited. Wow. 
Yes. So just kind of talking basic speeds and feeds. Um, you know, it's 72 ports for uh, to you. Kind of what's the power Ethernet, envelope? Ethernet latency is 282 nanoseconds latency. It's between five five to 800 watts, depending on what power optics you put in. So it's it's, it's as well. It's pretty low power as well. Yeah, so our, for this kind of performance, are we uh, kind of in a Cadillac price range, or are you pushing the price on below? So the current the current list price on this is 180k dollars. So it's a, a fairly reasonable two and a half thousand dollars per 40 gig Ethernet port. Wow. Okay. So I think you're gonna you've got a demo of this That's right. working for we'll us. We'll show you the, the demo over here. Let's, yes. let's go That's take right. a look. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So uh, in this here demo, we're, we've got a, a Spirant box. We're using a Spirant to do latency testing uh, on the on the on the nodal rig. Uh, the Spirant here is uh, accurate to 10 nanoseconds. Um, we're using that to inject packets uh, into this into this rig. Um, we've got a num We've got four different streams here. We're running through this. Um, so we're injecting um, streams here in a 10 gig into this box here. But this is one of our edge. Uh, access boxes we announced last year. So this has got 10, uh, 40 ports of 10 gig, 8 ports of 40 gig. Um, we've got streams coming in and out of the box here. We've got in copper. We've got them going in and out of the box here in fiber. Additionally, we've got streams coming here in fiber going into this box. They're then going up to the union lounge box. This is the, the large 72 port 40 gig aggregation box and coming back out of this box. Um, and we're doing the same here with, with, with copper. Um, and then here on the screen, we, we're showing the in latency, so all those different measurements. So here we've got 150 nanoseconds uh, with a short reach copper. We've got 150 nanoseconds of latency through one box. Here, through the additional fiber, uh, we've got 180 nanoseconds. Um, this measurement here is the measurement through the through this leaf box, through the aggregation box, and back out the leaf box. You can see that's about 410 nanoseconds uh, there. And then here, uh, at about 450 nanoseconds, that's the measurement with the additional uh, latency through this uh, loop to fiber here. So with our switches, is the, the, the latency of the fiber does start to make it, or the latency of the longer reach does start to make a difference. And there's a, there's a brief uh, picture there of what the, what the setup is in a more uh, diagrammatic form. Thank you, Fred, for that uh, demo. As you can see from Fred's uh, a testing setup here. The new nodal box is capable of very high uh, speed and low latency, less than 500 nanoseconds for a two-tier mesh network. And as he also mentioned, uh, the box is running at about $2,500 per 40 gig port. For TechWeb TV at Interop 2012 in Las Vegas, I'm Kurt Marco.